One of the most popular themes in science fiction is the idea of humans and robots coexisting in society. Well, with millions of funding from the National Science Foundation, the largest robot human experiment to date is looking to see if fiction can become reality. In tonight's Eye in America, CBS's Omar Villafranca shows us why the key to success has less to do with circuit boards and more to do with us. When they walk around campus, all the attention is on them. Oh my God. I'm on, I'm the dog. They're on four legs or four wheels. The robots roaming the campus at the University of Texas at Austin are part of a groundbreaking science and social experiment deep in the heart of Texas's robotics program. Social scientist Carrie Stevens and engineer Luis Sentis are both working on the project. You want to see how these programmable robots are interacting with non-programmable humans, basically. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The spin that we're giving here is that we're not so much interested in, in a one-to-one -one interaction with that particular human. We're interested, interested in the interaction with the community. For now, the first assignment is to stroll through busy walkways delivering sanitizer and wipes. Soon, they may be able to communicate, giving directions and even tours. But researchers won't just be watching the robots. Are you going to be watching more the robots or the people? We're going to watch both. And then that gives us a lot of feedback with how we might need to adjust the robots to make people more comfortable around them. Comfort is the key word. With the help of special cameras, the study will look at every reaction the people have from body language and facial expressions to how they walk around the machines. What would a robot be like on a day-to-day -day basis if you're interacting with it every day? And that robot needs to be convenient to be around. Justin Hart is a UT computer science professor. And today, he's in control of Spot, the largest and easily the most popular of the robots. Hi. Just taking Spot for a stroll garners the attention and data that scientists hope will make this five-year study a success. As robotics and artificial intelligence become more involved in our everyday lives. Moving these things into the wild, I expect to make lots and lots of discoveries about how people actually accomplish things and how to make these interfaces actually work. A step towards the future, four legs at a time. For Ion America, Omar Villafranca, Austin.